His visionary style helped shape the jazz, pop, and classical music of today. Wayne Shorter is one of the greatest arrangers in jazz history of all time. He is also known as the jazz standard. I mean, because a lot of the jazz standards that we know and play today are written by Wayne Shorter or influenced by Wayne Shorter. He started out when he was 16. He started playing the clarinet and he took lessons for about a year, right? And after he took those lessons for about a year, his life kind of completely changed. He took a music theory test. Music theory is challenging in every facet, but he got a perfect test. And that's when he kind of knew, he's like, you know, I really feel like I can do something with this music. As he became and got older, he would begin to be a part of a Miles Davis famous band. And he began to write for Miles Davis. The thing that, that blew people away is when he wrote for Miles Davis, they found that he never changed Wayne Shorter's arrangement. Any other musician who submitted like any arrangements to Miles Davis, they were always tweaked. They were always changed. But when, when Wayne Shorter presented to Miles Davis, Miles was like, man, let's let's do this. Shorter is also credited with being one of the pioneers of jazz fusion. He had originally was doing a lot of, you know, straight ahead, bebop type things. But then you had something called Weather Report. And it was a group that he founded along with a ton of legendary musicians. And they're infusing like a pop sound with a jazz sound with, you know, kind of still a little bit of bebop in there and a little bit of funk. And so you got this crazy kind of just mix of all these different sounds coming together. They're literally blazing a trail because many people hadn't seen uh, this type of fusion jazz or, or this type of pop jazz, if you will. They're putting some serious music to some you know, R&B type flavored music, which is kind of cool. So they were bringing culture and jazz uh, together, which was awesome. So with all of that, they were inspiring other musicians, you know, like a Grover Washington, like a Branford Marcellus, who even admits that he was trying to imitate, you know, these are the Marcellus brothers, some of the greatest musicians of our time, even today, they were trying to imitate Wayne Shorter. Shorter released more than 40 albums and collaborated on hundreds more, working with artists like Carlos Santana, Joni Mitchell, Steely Dan, and Tina Turner. At age 87, he composed the critically acclaimed Greek opera, Iphigenia. On March 2nd, 2023, Wayne Shorter died after making tremendous contributions to music for more than six decades. The thing that inspired me the most about Wayne Shorter is that he really understood the idea of being able to, to stand in your own skin, to be confident in who you are, to be authentically you, and to walk in that as a person in purpose. Uh, he had a really deep philosophy about purpose in that, you know, he really believed that it was his God-given ability, supernatural ability to, to do music and to create music and to express music. My takeaway from Wayne Shorter is to strive for greatness, to continue to strive for greatness, 